Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, the channel where we unravel the intricate details that make our favorite anime series so fascinating. Today, we're about to embark on a magical journey, a journey that takes us into the heart of one of the most complex and intriguing magic systems in anime, the world of magic in Goblin Slayer. Inspired by the classic Dungeons & Dragons tabletop game, this magic system is not just about flashy spells and incantations, it's a system that is deeply structured and layered, a system that requires understanding, strategy, and sometimes a bit of luck. So sit back, relax, and join us as we delve into the arcane mysteries of magic in Goblin Slayer. From its mechanics to its colorful palette of spells, from the strategy involved in its use to the cost it demands, we're about to unveil it all. Let's dive in. Did you know that the magic system in Goblin Slayer is inspired by the classic Dungeons & Dragons tabletop game? This intriguing fact sets the stage for a fascinating exploration of magic as it exists in the world of Goblin Slayer. Imagine for a moment a universe where the laws of physics are underpinned by arcane rules and where the manipulation of these rules can lead to astonishing feats. This is the realm of magic in Goblin Slayer, a complex and intricate system that is not just about waving wands and uttering incantations, but a deeply structured one with its mechanics and principles. It's no mere coincidence that there's a striking resemblance between the magic system in Goblin Slayer and the one in Dungeons & Dragons. The creator of Goblin Slayer, Kumo Kagyu, is a self-confessed fan of the iconic tabletop game. He drew inspiration from the game's magic system, implementing a similar structure and rule set into his own fantasy world. The magic system in Goblin Slayer, like its Dungeons & Dragons counterpart, is not a free-for-all. It's not about who can scream the loudest or who has the shiniest wand. Instead, it's a system that is governed by rules and mechanics. A system that requires understanding, strategy, and sometimes a bit of luck. This system is not just a backdrop for the story. It's a vital ingredient that shapes the narrative, influencing character decisions and plot developments. It's a system that adds depth and layers to the world, making it more than just a stage for the characters, but a living, breathing entity in its own right. The magic in Goblin Slayer is not just about spectacle and power, it's about strategy, cost and consequence. It's about understanding the rules and knowing when to break them. It's about the delicate balance between power and price, between risk and reward. Now that we've piqued your curiosity, let's delve deeper into the intricate magic system of Goblin Slayer. As we journey into this world, prepare to discover the mysteries of magic and how they shape the epic adventures of the Goblin Slayer. In Goblin Slayer, magic isn't just a whimsical force. It has structure and rules, just like the laws of physics in our world. Diving right into the mechanics, the first thing to note is the system of spell slots. Imagine having a finite amount of energy that you could use for various tasks in a day. Now picture this energy being expended when you perform magic. That's the essence of spell slots. Each spell a character uses in the Goblin Slayer universe requires a certain number of these slots. Once they've been used up, the magic user must rest and recover before they can cast spells again. For instance, the Priestess, one of the central characters, can only cast her Miraculous Protection spell three times before needing to rest. Another cornerstone of the magic system in Goblin Slayer is the use of incantations. Spells aren't just thrown around willy-nilly, they require precise and intricate incantations to be cast. The incantations are essentially the keys to unlocking the magical energy within each character. Each spell has its own unique incantation, and a mistake in the recitation could lead to disastrous consequences. A prime example of this is when the Goblin Slayer uses a scroll inscribed with a gate spell. He must recite the incantation accurately to open a portal to the bottom of the sea, turning the tide in a battle against a formidable foe. Last but not least, magic in Goblin Slayer isn't without its toll on the users. It's not just about having enough spell slots or knowing the right incantations. The physical and mental strain magic places on its users is a key factor in the series. Casting spells exhaust the user, often leaving them physically weakened or mentally drained. It's a delicate balance of power and endurance. This is seen when High Elf Archer uses her spells during intense battles often pushing herself to her limits to protect her comrades. By understanding these mechanics, we can see that magic in Goblin Slayer isn't a mere plot device or a convenient solution to problems. 
It's a complex system that requires strategy, knowledge and understanding. It's a part of the world's fabric, as integral to the story as the characters themselves. Understanding these mechanics is crucial to appreciate the strategic decisions made by the characters in the series. This isn't just about knowing who can cast what spell, it's about understanding the sacrifices and decisions they make, the risks they take, and the toll it takes on them. It's about appreciating the depth and complexity of the Goblin Slayer universe. So the next time you watch an episode, remember, every spell cast, every incantation uttered, every bit of magic used is a piece of a larger, intricate puzzle. The magic system isn't just about fantasy and adventure. It's about the story, the characters, and the world they inhabit. From priestesses' healing miracles to witches' powerful elemental spells, the magic in Goblin Slayer is as diverse as it is fascinating. Every character in Goblin Slayer carries a unique set of spells, mirroring their role in the group and their class. Let's delve into this vibrant array of magic. Take Priestess, for instance. As a cleric, she's the lifeblood of the team, casting spells that restore health and vitality. Her miracles, like the heal and protection, demonstrate the restorative and defensive nature of her class. With heal, she mends wounds and cures ailments, while protection forms a barrier against enemy attacks. These spells reflect her role as a guardian and healer, keeping her comrades safe and sound. On the other side of the spectrum, we have Witch. As an elemental caster, she wields powerful offensive spells. Her sleep spell, for example, sends enemies into a deep slumber, rendering them helpless. Then there's her iconic Dragontooth Warrior spell, which summons a skeletal warrior to fight alongside her. These spells embody her role as an aggressor, controlling the battlefield with her elemental prowess. Then there's the enigmatic Lizard Priest, who combines offensive and defensive magic. The scale skin spell hardens his hide, making him resilient against physical attacks. His Dragon Tooth Warrior spell, on the other hand, calls forth an ancestral spirit to fight for him. These spells reflect his dual role as a tank and a summoner, bridging the gap between offense and defense. Let's not forget the High Elf Archer, who blends magic with her archery skills. Her Wind Arrow spell transforms her arrows into gusts of wind, piercing through enemy lines with lethal precision. This spell epitomizes her role as a ranged attacker, dealing damage from a safe distance. The Dwarf Shaman is another interesting character with a mix of spells. His Stone Blast spell hurls rocks at enemies, while his Stupor spell confuses and disorients them. These spells echo his role as a crowd controller, manipulating the battlefield to his advantage. Finally, we have the titular Goblin Slayer, who doesn't use magic in the traditional sense. Instead, he uses a combination of tactics, strategy, and mundane tools to slay goblins. His approach to combat is a stark contrast to the spellcasting of his companions, but it's equally effective, if not more. In the world of Goblin Slayer, spells are more than just tools for battle. They're an extension of the characters, reflecting their personalities, beliefs, and roles in the group. Whether it's priestesses healing miracles, witches' elemental spells, or Goblin Slayer's tactical genius, each character's approach to combat is unique and captivating in its own right. These spells not only add an element of unpredictability to the battles, but also deepen our understanding of the characters and their roles. So, the next time you watch Goblin Slayer in action, pay close attention to the spells. You might just find a new layer of depth to your favorite characters. In Goblin Slayer, magic isn't just about who has the most powerful spell. It's about strategy, timing, and teamwork. Welcome to the chessboard of magic, where every move counts, and the game is won not by the strongest, but by the smartest. In the world of Goblin Slayer, magic is not a limitless resource. Wizards and priests have a finite number of spell slots, a reservoir of magical energy that depletes with every spell cast. This system imposes a tangible limit on the characters, compelling them to think strategically about when and how to use their magic. It's not enough to have a devastating fireball at your fingertips. You must know when to unleash it for maximum impact. A pivotal aspect of this strategy is understanding one's role within the team. In Goblin Slayer, each character brings a unique set of skills to the table and their magic complements their role. The priestess, for instance, excels in defensive and restorative magic, shielding her comrades or healing their wounds. 
The high elf archer, on the other hand, employs her magic to enhance her archery, making her arrows even more deadly. Their magic is not just a tool for destruction, it's an extension of their roles, a vital part of their identity. Another layer to this strategic use of magic is the understanding of one's enemy. Goblins, the predominant foes in the series, are not particularly strong or cunning, yet they are numerous and ruthless and they exploit their numbers to overwhelm their opponents. To combat this, our heroes use their magic in innovative ways, turning the tide of battle with well-placed spells. For example, they might use a light spell to blind the goblins, or a silent spell to prevent them from communicating. It's a chess match, with every spell a calculated move to outwit and outmaneuver the enemy. The magic system in Goblin Slayer also emphasizes the importance of timing. Spells can take time to cast, and a poorly timed spell can be as disastrous as a missed sword swing. Characters must choose the right moment to cast their spells, considering factors like distance, enemy movement, and their own safety. A well-timed spell can be the difference between victory and defeat, between life and death. And finally, there's the element of teamwork. In Goblin Slayer, magic is most effective when used in conjunction with other spells or physical attacks. Characters often coordinate their actions, combining their magic in creative ways to overcome their enemies. It's a dance of power and precision, a testament to their bond and their shared determination to prevail. But magic in the world of Goblin Slayer isn't without its cost. Indeed, every spell casted, every enchantment invoked, has a price to pay. In this riveting universe, magic isn't a limitless resource one can tap into without repercussions. It's a taxing endeavor that demands a physical toll on its wielders, a burden that grows heavier with each spell casted. Take Priestess, for instance, a young and budding magic user. She can only cast up to three miracles a day, exceed this limit, and she risks her life, a perilous gamble that could leave her incapacitated or worse, dead. Even the experienced High Elf Archer isn't exempt from this rule, as her wind magic can drain her strength, leaving her vulnerable in the heat of battle. But it doesn't stop there. Magic in Goblin Slayer is more than just a physical drain. It's a sacrifice, a trade-off. Remember when Sword Maiden used her resurrection miracle on Goblin Slayer? That powerful act of magic didn't come free. It cost her sight, a hefty price to pay for the life of another. And then there's Lizard Priest, who conjures his magic through the power of his ancestors. Each spell he casts comes at the expense of the spirit's goodwill, a resource that's finite and irreplaceable. Overuse of his magic could lead to the severing of this spiritual bond, a consequence that carries a profound personal cost. This is the harsh reality of magic in the Goblin Slayer universe. It's a powerful tool, yes, but it's also a dangerous weapon that can backfire if not handled with caution. Each spell cast, each miracle performed, carries a heavy weight. It's a delicate balancing act, a game of risk versus reward. So, magic in the Goblin Slayer universe isn't just a tool, it's a double-edged sword. It's a testament to the harsh reality that power isn't granted freely. It's earned, it's fought for, and it often comes with a steep price. It's a lesson that our characters learn time and again, a theme that's woven into the very fabric of this captivating universe. We hope this guide has given you a new appreciation of the magic system in Goblin Slayer. As we journeyed through the mystical and arcane world of Goblin Slayer, we delved deep into the intricacies of its magic system. We unraveled the mysteries of magic, shedding light on the enigmatic forces that guide and govern the world of Goblin Slayer. We examined the mechanics of magic, understanding the underlying principles that dictate the manifestation and manipulation of magical powers. We painted a vivid picture of the colorful palette of spells, showcasing the wide range of magical abilities that the characters wield in their battles against the goblins. From the destructive force of offensive spells to the gentle healing touch of restorative magic, we explored the diverse spectrum of magic that paints the world of Goblin Slayer with vibrant hues of excitement and suspense. We strategized with magic, investigating how the characters employ their magical abilities in their tactical maneuvers. We saw how the clever use of magic can turn the tide of battle transforming a desperate situation into a triumphant victory. We paid the cost of magic, acknowledging the sacrifices and risks that come with wielding such potent powers. We recognized the toll that magic takes on its users, reminding us that in the world of Goblin Slayer, even power comes at a price. 
In the course of our journey, we have gained a deeper understanding of the magic system in Goblin Slayer. We have seen its complexity and depth, appreciating the intricate world building and storytelling that have gone into creating this captivating universe. But our journey does not end here. There are still many more secrets to uncover, many more stories to tell. And in our next video, we will explore one such fascinating aspect of the Goblin Slayer universe. In our next video, we will explore the fascinating world of monsters in the Goblin Slayer universe. Stay tuned to learn about the creatures that our heroes face in their dangerous quests. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the magic system of Goblin Slayer and can't wait to discover more about the monstrous creatures that our heroes battle against in their perilous quests, don't forget to subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we unearth new secrets and unravel more mysteries from your favorite anime series. Whether you're a seasoned anime fan or a newcomer to this captivating world, our channel offers a wealth of knowledge and insights that will deepen your appreciation and understanding of the stories you love. So click that subscribe button now and join us as we continue to explore the fascinating world of anime. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into your favorite anime series. Until next time, keep exploring the lore.